Hello Sunshines and welcome to Demos with Diva. Today we're taking a look at Back to the Dawn by Metalhead Games. You are framed and incarcerated. Learn to survive in prison. Explore every inch and exploit any weakness. Manipulate and scheme. Make friends or foes with fellow inmates and with their help, break out of prison. The full game is due to be released in 2023. Check out the link in the description below to play the demo for free. This was recorded over on my Twitch channel, so head on over there to hang out with me Tuesday and Thursday evenings and Saturday mornings. If you want to see me play more demos, drop a like and a follow and let me know in the comments what you want to see me play. Warning! This video game contains strong language and graphic imagery that some may find disturbing. Discretion is advised. Now without further ado, let's get started. Okay. You guys can see in here now. Excellent. <laughs> oh man. Okay. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, we are going to. Uh, I guess we can continue. Why not? But uh, I may not have chosen. Yeah. Okay. I chose. Thomas, and we'll see him in a second. Dear viewers, I'm here at Lame Leg River near the Black Marsh Chemical Plant in Skid Row. Oh, here's Thomas. As you can see, the river is purple. It is also very pungent or has very pungent order. Order, 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 order. I'm with the, one of the residents of the riverbank. Let's hear his thoughts on the matter. My thoughts? This damn chemical plant opened less than two years ago, and it's already devastated the surrounding area. Those heartless sons of bitches must have been dumped sewage into the river at night. Now all the fish are dead. It's messed up. Just smell the stench. So many kids are sick. They can't stop coughing and have rashes all over their bodies. And you have informed the authorities, such as the Environmental Protection Agency or City Hall? Of course, but they're useless. None of them want to take responsibility. I heard the mayor's nephew has shares in the plant. The, the bastards are all in on it together. Oh, boy. Mess with... Oh, okay. They see us poor people here as less than nothing. Hmm. Viewers, is the tragic situation here the result of illegal sewage dumping? Probably. And is the inaction of the authorities due to the mayor's involvement... We'll continue to investigate the story, so stay tuned for our follow-up report. I'm Thomas the Fox, Woodpecker TV, reporting live from... Excellent interview. Your reputation is well-deserved. I'm sure you didn't ask me here just to watch a video with you, Mr. Campaign Manager. Indeed not. We're both busy men. I'll get straight to the point. As you know, the mayor's four-year term is almost up. The election's just around the corner. He's seeking re-election and has hired me, Angelo, as his campaign manager. The mayor's asked the eraser for help. He must be desperate. The eraser. <laughs> That's just baseless slander. I'm a serious social activist. But let's get back to the point. Cards on the table. The mayor does indeed have a certain relative who holds shares in the plant. But the mayor wasn't aware of that fact, and no so-called power for money deal ever took place. But your interview may cause some of the more unsophisticated citizens to misunderstand the situation. So I hope you'll reconsider your follow-up report to avoid any further misunderstanding. I'm just doing my job. What a great journalist. I admire your passion for work. But there's more to life than work. Far more. What are you trying to say? A little birdie told me you're still renting some flea blag apartment and broke up with your girl not too long ago. Hmm. And no friends to speak of, other than that lawyer you used to go to school with. Your aggressive reporting always gets you in trouble. He's the one who has to clean up your mess. You've clearly done your research on me. You flouted me. 
I'm just trying to make a point. We both find ourselves in situations that are less than ideal. We can help each other. Knuckles, a briefcase. Yes. What's that? <laughs> Are you trying to buy me? You got me wrong. I simply want you to join our campaign staff as head of publicity. This is your fee. Someone of your talent working as a TV reporter? <sighs> Such a waste. I want to give you an opportunity so you will join us or carry on with your thankless reporting. You're a smart fox. I'm sure you'll make the right choice. Put your money away. I'm not for sale. How unfortunate. Since you're so determined to be so stubborn, you leave me no other choice. Is the eraser about to show his true colors? You can't buy me. So you have to resort to threats? Are you looking for the chance to erase me as well? <laughs> no way. You're the hotshot who broke the contamination story. If you were to disappear, it would be a major headache for me. After all, the public do love to engage in wild speculation. I'm glad to hear that. If there's nothing else, I'll be going. And, uh, I promise you'll see a follow-up report real soon. Take care. Have a nice day. You'll regret your foolishness. Oh boy. I'm Sergeant Norman. This is my precinct. Is this your car? Yeah, is there a problem, officer? We received an anonymous tip that this car contains an illegal substance. We're here to check. Right. I'll check up front. Eric, move your ass. Turn the trunk inside out. Sir, there must be some mistake. That's for us to determine. You just sit tight. Right. Huh? Sorry, I found it. He was hiding something. And it looks like grade A stuff. This... Wait, I don't know anything about that. Shut your mouth. Save it for the station. Great day. This calls for another drink. Prominent reporter sentenced to prison. Today, Thomas the Fox, the prominent reporter for Woodpecker TV, was sentenced in to three years in prison and fined 50000 for possession of an illegal substance. He will serve his sentence at Boulderton Prison. Sources stated he is also spe suspected of bribery, bribing interviewees, and fabricating fake news stories, among other violations. In the words of one city resident, I am very disappointed at him. I no longer believe any of his past reports. The investigation into the contamination of Lang Leg River has finally brought the, tr the truth to light. The investigation team jointly formed by City Hall and the Environmental Protection Agency issued a statement which reads, The incident was caused by a temporary worker who was so drunk on the job he... Uh, worker who was drunk on the job. He accidentally poured chemicals down the drain, which resulted in minor contamination. The temporary worker in question has been fired. The investigation team has been allocated to the Black Marsh Chemical Plant additional funds to assist in the, its cleanup activities in an effort to return a clear river to the public. Of course. Ain't that just the way? Stones at attention. Listen, good fish. From now on, you're inmate 1220. I'm Captain Bruce, and my words are the law. You will obey. Do you understand? Yeah. What? Speak up. I can't hear you. I understand. Good. I'll get your ass to cell three and make it snappy. Uh, 
Oh, okay, well. Thought I can run. No. Here it is, fish. Your new home. Before you go in, the la one last thing. Head count in the lobby at 8 o'clock. 8 800. You better not be late. Now get out of my sight! Alright. Is that a donkey? Ugh, that guy talks a lot. Now is not the time to waste energy getting mad at him. It's been a week since I, my conviction, and I still haven't met with Reed. I don't know how the appeal is progressing. I need to contact him ASAP. Hmm. Ask the prisoners. They should know how to contact the outside. Price of justice. Hey, buddy. Hi, I'm Thomas, your new cellmate. Yeah. Oh, hi. I was just reading a letter from a girlfriend. I'm Sam. My nickname's Ratchet. I was a mechanic on the outside. I'm a journalist. Eh, <laughs> no wonder you look familiar. I might have seen your show. Nice. Uh, how do I... Sam, is there a way to contact the outside? I need to talk to my lawyer. Of course. There, this is a modern prison. You can write a letter like me. Or if you're in a hurry, there's a payphone in the lobby. You can try after headcount, but there's usually a line. Great. A phone. That's great news. I'll call after headcount. Oh, a craft. Oh yeah, I can craft. This table looks older than me. But I guess beggars can't be choosers in this place. Maybe I can use it as a simple workbench? Toilet sink combo? Looks quite advanced. I hope the water doesn't overflow from the sink when the toilet's blocked. <laughs> RB check. Toilet. Your toilet sink combo doesn't look pretty, but it gets the job done. Use the toilet. What happens to food after you eat it? It gets digested, of course. Digestion will accumulate in your gut. Once it reaches two, you can empty it at any time by going to the toilet. But when it reaches 20, even the slightest fart could be dangerous. What's this? A storage cupboard. Looks like I have my own space. Hmm. There seems to be a piece of paper on top. The prison schedule. This is exactly what I need right now. Yes. So I check the cupboard. A small cupboard. You can store items inside. Contraband prison rules are very strict. The more dangerous something is, the higher its violation. Normal compartments, the cupboard's normal, uh, compartments can only store items with violation of two or less. Otherwise, they'll be discovered. Hidden compartments, how do I go down? It's not letting, oh, there we go. A hidden compartments, don't worry. There are hidden spaces in the cupboard and other corners of the cell where items of high viol violation can be safely stored. Excellent. Look. Looks like this rickety iron frame is my bed. The bottom bunk's been taken. I guess I'm on top. The bed is where you sleep, but of course it has other functions. Sleeping, you can get to bed after 20, uh, 2100 every night. Sleep restores your stamina. If you have to get up at 7 a.m. sharp, uh, sleeping is not allowed in. The, sleeping in is not allowed in the prison. You can improve the quality of your sleep by making your bed. Prison is very cold at night. You'll definitely freeze without a blanket. Entertainment. You can also relax in bed if you have magazines or a handheld game. Nice. So, oh, what did I do? Okay. Right. Uh. Oh, that's interesting. I have shit in my pot. What is this? Actions. Okay. Oh, I guess I'll just. Uh, no. Okay. Um, it's not quite time for a head count. I mean, I don't under- I should go for headcount. Okay, I guess we're just gonna skip. 
Mm -hmm. Looks like I made it in time. Attention! Quiet assholes, it's count time! Count one, two, three. Hmm, that's 44, 47. Three means they're absent. Two in the infirmary and one in segregation. That's all. Listen up. Today's the first of the month, which means some of you dipshits have more dipshits have joined you. I'll warn you now. Do not try to stand out from the crowd. Try to be a smart ass in my domain and I'll show you no mercy. Now let's get down to business. All you newcomers, listen and listen good. Today's announcements. To enable you lazy maggots to earn your keep, the prison offers work assignments. There are still uh, vacancies in the laundry room for now, so many new inmates who want to earn some money should apply to me. Remember, don't be choosy about your job. If you don't want to do it, someone else will. Sweet. I want to go to the kitchen. I'm not going to be your slave. We want higher wages. Not interested. Shut the hell up. I don't have time to listen to your whining. Dismissed. All right, so we gotta get ourselves prison work. I do need some cash. I only have a few coins in my pocket. But the top priority right now is to call Reed. He's probably waiting to hear from me. All right, uh, so where is this phone? Oh. Mm. That's a camel, okay. Come on! It's been so long! Did you show my script to the director or not? What? What do you mean you didn't get a chance? You're his assistant! Do you have any idea how important this script is to me? My entire comeback is writing on it. Seriously, can I... Can you just get it together? Don't forget you help, who helped you when you were a, a rock bottom. Do I just wait? He's on the phone. Uh, persuade him to leave. Uh, charisma test. Points plus five. Uh, view attributes. Okay. I mean, I pretty have a pretty high. Well, other shoes plus one. Shoes maketh the man. No rapport with this guy. Okay. Hi, I'm in a bit of a hurry. Can you let me use the phone first? Success! Awesome. So higher than six, maybe? Fine, I was finished anyway. Let's make a call then. Welcome to the prison smartphone. Please enter your inmate number after the beep. Press pound to send the call. Smartphone? I never expected this place to be so modern. Uh, enter 1220. Connecting. Hello, inmate 1220. You can make two more calls today. You will be charged $10 per call. A $90 service charge will be added to your first call. What? I knew it wouldn't be that simple. Seems this place is more shady than I thought. Uh, I don't have that much money. I need to find a way to get 100 as soon as possible. Okay, uh, where's this guy? At attention. What is it? Ask about work. What? You want work? Good. Inmates should keep busy. I have good news. Right now you can apply to work in the laundry room with good conduct credits. This is a special privilege for new fish like you. If you're interested, come and fill out the form. There's some applications. Uh, I guess we're in the laundry. Your application is approved. From now on, you can work in the laundry. Got laundry room permit. A work permit registered by Bruce. It will get you into laundry room during working hours. 
That's a great job, fish. I love it. Alright, so how do I get there? Simple. You see this fence gate? Go out from there before lunch, and a guard will take you to your workplace on the other side of the corridor. But don't try any funny business. The work area is watched by snipers on the tower. You wouldn't want to get your head blown off now, would you? Ugh. Lacuna, really? I tell you, if someone could give me a cold beer right now, I'd be... I'd even be willing to go... To go to, to SAG for him. Oh, <laughs> beer tastes so bland. I cannot hold a candle to my excellent spirits. <laughs> I see. What you'll like about your spirits. The Volker from my hometown will put hair on your chest. That's the wrong accent for that. Just one sip will blow your mind. I have a small bottle stashed away. I'll give you a taste sometime. Awesome, buddy. I had some in this bar up north one time. That stuff's so strong it'll go up with just one spark. I hear some guys use it to make Molotov cocktails. Hey, keep your voice down, Thomas. You want Bruce to hear you? Hmm, interesting. With a skill, okay, skill discovered is Northern Liquor. <laughs> You will be able to craft liquor into Molotov cocktails on the workbench. Aww. Learn the secret of burning. Okay. Uh, enable now. Excellent. Enabling skills. What does that mean? You got a new skill. You'll find prison extremely difficult if you don't have any skills. Excuse me. Skills can be found in its own tab and abilities. Now you just need to enable it. Enabling a skill will take up a certain number of skill points. You can spend experience of the corresponding type to add more skill points. Tip. Yeah. You can forget unwanted skills at any time, but this will cost some experience. Okay. Add skill points. Remaining experience. Okay. Not enough experience experience has skill point. Okay. What can I do no. Okay. So that's a secret compartment. Oh yeah, that's right. I have a nice. So I have skill points, but I don't have enough experience to really do anything. Who else is Oh, what's this guy? Sir, I'm a new prisoner, number uh, 12220. Hi. Hey, relax, I'm not a hard ass like Bruce. My name's Billy. I'm the deputy captain. I'm responsible for the inmates' day to day lives. I'm pleased to meet you, sir. According to the prison rules, inmates can come to me every week to get their daily essentials. But to be honest, it's never enough. So the inmates usually end up fighting over them. Rest assured, I won't make any trouble. Hey, don't worry. What I mean is, to make life easier for you, I run a small business on the side. For a little money, you can replenish your everyday essentials, of course. I also sell a few goodies, too. Sounds like a win-win situation to me. You alright, buddy? You talking to me? Hello there. Down. You heard them. Ooh, there's no one else here. All the little elves. It, can't you see them dancing at the tip of my nose? And the lobster knight's climbing up my legs. Right. Oh, I get it. You're high as a kite. You're hallucinating. Honey, no. I'm a magic chef. This is my psychic power. Then I guess you added a lot of herbs and spices to your food, right? Most deaf. I put in some mushroom and painkillers. I tasted out of this world. The effects clearly haven't worn off yet. I'll leave him in his own little world for now. Isn't that little lobsters play? Little elves laughing. <laughs> you befriended Diego, the alpaca. Oh, it's an alpaca with a monkey. His rapport will help you. Nice. And now, uh, alpaca Diego. Diego the alpaca. 
Uh, an alpaca con constantly has drool hanging from the corners of the mouth, and his brain is addled from heavy drug use. It is not uncommon for him to hallucinate in broad daylight, during which naked elves and lobster knights are the most frequent of the friends he sees. Before being incarcerated, he was an uh, apprentice chef, but it was to be the start of his own his downward spiral. Yeah. Drinking fountain. Looks like coffee. I never thought there'd be anything free in this place. Ugh, I could really use a cup of coffee. Drink hot water. <laughs> cool. Nice. And this is my roommate. That I cannot talk to, I guess, because he's working right now. What does that, the, the triangle mean? Hey, man. Hey, man, who say, who do you say is the most trustworthy friend in the joint? Uh, you? No, your fists are your only real friends. Remember, it's doggy dog out there in here. You don't have the skills to defend yourself. You'll be easy pickets. Uh, so? <laughs> I got just the thing to turn the, a little fish into a badass shark. Joseph's boxes, boxing lessons. Yeah, he's a kangaroo. Talk to you, talk to yours truly, former professional boxer Joseph, aka the world. Just ten lessons will make you invincible in a prison brawl. Right now, there's a special offer. Only $500 per class. How about it? Uh, let me think about it. Hey, if it's too expensive for you, we can negotiate. Give yourself a chance to get stronger. Alright. <laughs> you befriended Joseph the kangaroo. His report will help you. Alright, Joseph, what's your story? Serial number 1912. The kangaroo with a strong muscular physique is soon... Uh, as soon as you meet, he tells you hey, your fists are your only real friends, their theory of surviving prison. It, as it turns out, his goal it was to sell you, sell his boxing lessons. As a one-time professional boxer, there's no doubt he knows his stuff, but the outrageous cost of his lesson makes you wonder if he actually has any students. <laughs> so let's, I don't know what that is. I kind of want to go to work, but also kind of want to... Stay right there where you are, crook. Hey, you better stay away from me, Crook. Alright. Am I in your way? Is this your territory? No! It's for your own safety. What do you mean? See the color of my skin? Do you know what that means? It means I'm poisonous. Highly poisonous. If you if you have a cut and it so much as rubs against me, you'll be headed straight for the infirmary. If that happens, I'll have to explain to the gods that you brought it on yourself, Crook. Right. Oh, oh. Some of my saliva seems to have splashed on your nose. Right. <laughs> I don't think tree frogs are poisonous. With his bright green skin and big red eyes, this little fella is the only amphibian in the whole prison, and his striking appearance certainly makes you, him stand out from the crowd. When you first approach him, he showed you a lot of resistance. However, once he explained, you understood that he was not being hostile. He simply did not want to accidentally hurt you with his poisonous skin. Although dangerous on the outside, could this tree frog be one of the few good guys in the joint? Probably. How about you, Kate the Giraffe? Another boring day. Ugh, I don't have enough focus points. Oh, damn. Focus recovery? Oh. Go to work. You want to work in, mate? Two, one, two, two, zero. Yeah, my work request has been reproved. Ah, you do have a work permit, but I can't find a health certificate for you here. What? You have to go to the infirmary for a physical. You have to pass before you can work. Do you understand? Yeah, I understand. I guess I have to go to the infirmary first. Go to the infirmary. According to the regulations, all the inmates must go to the infirmary for a physical. You. Do you want to go to now? Yes, go for the physical. The guard at the end of the corridor will escort you. Behave yourself. Sweet. <laughs> <sighs> here for a physical? Doc's in the consult consultation room. You can go in by yourself. Come to me in the corridor when you're done. Don't stay in there too long. Okay, I won't cause any trouble. So what can I say? Infirmary. Congratulations on making it to the infirmary. It may sound strange, but the infirmary is the best place in the whole prison. There's a beautiful doctor, soft beds, and a whole lot of ho a whole host of treasures in the pharmacy. 
Whatever your reason for coming to the infirmary, you can see the doctor once, so don't miss the opportunity. Uh, you can see the doctor once. Okay. The doctor finishes work at 7, uh, 1730 every day, so don't come late if you want to see her. Oh, I keep doing that. Is that the doctor? Hi. You calling me? Uh, right, I don't have enough focus points. We got a skunk. Is this a sloth? Uh, you're a polar bear? What are you? What a thick door. What kind of room could be inside? It looks like the handle won't budge. The door is locked tight. It's probably an anti theft lock. It won't be easy to open. There are rows of cabinets inside that look like they contain medicine. This must be the pharmacy. No wonder it's like Fort Knox. This pharmacy is a treasure trove in this place. Hey, buddy. Need some consultation room. Uh, an intercom. It seems that even if you come to the infirmary, you can't just can't just see the doctor whenever you want. Answers the intercom. Hello, can I help you? I'm here for a physical. Physical. Oh, come on in. I have some free time. You undergo a brief physical in the consultation room. Oh, we don't get to see it? Nice. I'm Beth. From the records I see, this is your first time in the infirmary. I'm the doctor here. I'm responsible for all the inmates, ailments, and big and small. Every day I leave here at 17.30 sharp. I don't like overtime. Oh, you said that. I wouldn't want to work in a prison at night either. Mm. If you get hurt during the night, the guard... Ran will administer your drip. He's not a doctor, but he has some medical training, so you don't need to worry. Okay, let's take a look at your test results. Well, first of all, congratulations, there's nothing major wrong with you. Yay! But considering the unsanitary, unsanitary conditions here, you can never be too cautious. I'll give you a vaccination to help protect against most of the infectious diseases in here. Wait here, I'll just get, uh, get it from the pharmacy. Okay, she's gone. Yep. This is, isn't a good time to take what's on the train. Okay. There might be some useful information on this computer. Oh, her desktop is such a mess. Yes. Huh. There seems to be something in this folder. Tim the Sloth, chronic skin condition, now contagious, requires injections every Monday and Thursday. Jimmy the Giraffe, hypertension with mild complication, requires an intravenous drip every Tuesday and Friday. Okay. Kevin the Koala, hypersomnia, genetic, requires medication every Wednesday and Saturday. Diego the Alpaca, type 1 diabetes, requires animal insulin every Thursday and Sunday. Bob the Panther, hyperthyroidism, kidney stones, and chronic stomach ulcers, requires medication every Tuesday and Saturday. Okay seems that patients can come to the infirmary regularly. Uh, Ao Hub. Congratulations on purchasing a one-year Payo Hub membership, giving you thousands of amazing videos at your parents. Mmm. <laughs> okay. Your most frequently watched category, Adult, has just been updated to 126 new videos. Check them out. Now, for a limited time only, sign up for seven days to get her 10 free hearts. Okay. Hmm, never thought she'd be under the same category as me. <laughs> Thank you for registering with Swan Island. We have millions of quality singles, uh, so you're bound to find the one. Wow. Okay, I guess she can't stand being her own. Thank you for the cookies you sent last week. They were great. Sorry I haven't been vi uh, to visit, but I'm really down lately. I, you know I broke up with Toby. I was very dependent on him. Uh, after all, we've been together on and off since college. I've even used his birthday as a code for consultation door. Oh. But I'm taking things one step at a time. I've changed the code to my birthday now. Hopefully I'll be able to get um, get over him for good. I'll definitely come around uh, for dinner a few days. Please don't worry about me. Lots of love, Beth. Hmm. So the consultation room code is her birthday. Uh, hi, Lelina. 
Toby and I had another fight, but it seems it's for real this time. I don't know what pissed him off, but after the movie, he just snapped at me. The next morning, he moved out of the apartment without saying a word. I know you two get on well, so if he comes to you, please give him a message for me. Good riddance, asshole. I knew you two were screwing around behind my back. Do you think I'm stupid? If you're bored with me, just end it. I won't give you a second thought. Wow. Whoa. I didn't see that coming. Gloves and okay. your weapon souls accessories will lose durability after use. Some items are strong and durable, while some items break very easily. When durability is low, the item will become worn and its functionality will be reduced. There's also a risk of the item breaking if you continue using it after its durability has dropped to zero. Okay, good to know about time. I better get back to the examination chair. Hmm. Are you ready for your shot? Uh, I've... <laughs> get shot. Stop shaking or I won't be able to find a vein. After receiving a shot in the arm, you leave the consultation room. Got a health certificate. You have passed the physical at the infirmary and can now go to your workplace. Sweet. Um... Sir, inmate requesting to return to Jam Pop. Is this the laundry room? The washing machine is so loud. Let's see what work I can do. Ooh, it's a platypus! Hey, the last quarter earnings arrived this morning. You should have made a lot this time. Really? That's great! I was worried I wouldn't have enough money to buy any new games. But I owe you an apology. I thought you might be lying before. That's fine, I let the money speak for me. But I wouldn't spend the money on games if I were you. I'd strike while the iron's hot and reinvest. Wouldn't you want to be a nice little nest egg ready for... But when you get out, uh, let's see. unknown unit found. Oh, right. so strong I'm choking here. Staying here too long can't be good for my health. Workers must be provisioned in the use of the iron. Take up the iron to start ironing and put it down on top. The ironing times for the five types of clothing. Top 11 minutes, pants 10 minutes, vest 9 minutes, underpants 8 minutes, socks 7 minutes. The closer the actual ironing time is to be specified, uh, to the specified time, the more pay the worker will receive. In order to improve efficiency and reduce costs, each worker must finish ironing three items of clothing in succession before he can receive his salary. 
No, the iron is fitted to an anti-theft alarm. If the iron is disconnected from the cord, it will trigger the alarm, so use it with care. Let's see. I hope the taste doesn't disappoint. Um, order food. Ask about the Pick Brothers. Hey, you want to eat? Ooh, bread. <laughs> Alright, so we were choosing food. Pretty sure I have $40. No, I have $100. Dang. Let's eat pumpkin porridge and then we can go work it off. Where's my friend? Where's the platypus is probably trying to like... I have a couple friends in here. I have like the kangaroo. I made friends with the alpaca. Hey man, bro buddy! Hey, hey, cut it out. I told you no credit. You're bleeding me dry. I gotta cut you off. But we're... Bigfoot gang bros, Sully's? And Sully's, you really gotta be so cold? Yeah, I am. Now stop bothering me. I don't want you to ruin me. <laughs> Alright, um. This is hella. There's the meerkat I saw earlier, so let's just sit here. Eating lunch. Ah, 
after a busy morning, you finally want to sit and eat, right? But hold your horses. You, I need to teach you first. Blah, 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 blah. A few things first. Share food. You can share half your lunch with a person on your table. This will increase his rapport with you. Ask for food. If you don't have enough lunch, you can ask. Uh, try asking a person on your table for some food. But it's up to you to take it to make it work. Spike food. If you have a laxative, you can try giving it to the person on your table. Wow. Let's just eat. It tastes like there's no sugar in this porridge. Mm. Alright. Oh, excuse me. Uh, can I get more? What, do you have anything? I'm the eldest of the Cook Brothers. Everyone calls me Straw. Listen up. I'm the boss of the cafeteria and the boss of the kitchen. Inmates have voted me the last person in prison you want to offend in ten, for ten years running. There's nothing I hate more than when inmates don't finish their food! Alright. That's about the Cook Brothers. I'm in the middle of the Cook Brothers. Everyone calls me Sticks. I see. My, we're triplets. My big brother's a bit hot of a hot ass, but my little brother's a real hard worker. As for me, I'm not too smart, so uh, I always listen to my big brother. So is your little brother named Bricks? Hey man, wanna learn some prison self-defense? Sorry, I'm not interested. Okay, but boxing's also a great way to get in shape. Just think how hot you'll look if you turn your flab into muscle. Let me be clear on this. It's not boxing that I'm not interested in. It's you. I'm sorry, but you're not my type. What? Where's the giraffe? What are you trying to peddle, platypus? Hey, the money I owe the Black Claw Gang is due today. I should have known not to buy your damn bonds. I haven't seen a single cent so far. Calm down, buddy. Investing requires patience. Some investors received their dividends today. You should arrive in a few days. I can't even wait even one day. I want to withdraw my money right now. Come on, it's a term bond. Do you not, do you know what term means? Ah! Hmm. Just do as I ask and I'll make it worth your while. It's an honor to save the shop tooth gang. Put your crap and listen to what I want you to do. You probably know that the Bigfoot gang and the Black Claw gang are in a dispute over the fee for the smuggling route. Yeah, they could even end up going to war. Good. Then I have a little gossip I need you to spread around. Preferably to Jumbo and Caesar. I think I get what you mean. So what is it? Listen up now. It's simple. Now! Now that's smart. So I'm guessing this is Jumbo. It's too hot in here. Are the fans just for show? Are you? You're Frank. I have to be careful of indigestion. Are you Caesar? No, you're Bill. Oh no, you're Bill. Hey, we agree. Whoever finished eating foots gets the barbell this afternoon. What? You want to back out because you lost? <laughs> You call that winning? The rule was you have to chew before swallowing. You didn't even bite it. That horn of you block your you or something? Want me to spit it out right now so you see if, bread's, if the bread's still whole? Don't even... Don't think I don't know. You've been regurgitating it and chewing it back up. Ew. Who, what are you? Thick man. <laughs> Do I not know? Okay, what are my, where are my focus points? Is that the purple thing? Can I befriend the hissy hiss? He looks like a little creepy. I'd rather not talk to him. Aww. Yeah, he seems to be looking this way. I'm closer. Who? Me? Perfect. Now take off your clothes. Ah! What? Why? Sorry, I don't mean any harm. 
I just get excited when I see a good model. I tend to forget myself. I'm Pikmin. Uh, I'm an artist, and I have a small gallery in all the old town. If you know more about art, you may have heard of the Infernal Feast. That's my work. Uh, I think I've heard of it. <laughs> but that's all in the past. I'm looking for a new model now. Seeing you has reawakened my inspiration. I'm already picturing a beautiful composition, a composition of you lying in pieces in a pool of blood. In pieces? <laughs> the theme of my work is the beauty within the process of death. This guy's messed up. You. <laughs> Good. <laughs> I'm so glad we can be friends. <laughs> a scary looking subspecies of iguana. He was quite a well known painter before he was in prison, and after meeting you, he invited you to be his model. But when you learned of the concept of his new painting, you were overcome by fear and disgust, as he wanted to paint your death. Excellent. Alright, can I make any more friends? Lunch time's over! Stop loitering around here and get out of here! Can I go back to work? So I can make more money so I can call my lawyer? Afternoon is recreation time. I can finally get some fresh air. But the yard looks pretty small. Hmm, there's a map on the fence. I'll check it out. Okay. You are here. Just outside of the cafeteria. Uh, there's a toilet, there's some bleachers, a basketball court, a baseball field, weight pit general building and a chapel hmm dang no returning to the main building before. so where do we go between six and seven or six and nine wait hold on oh, okay so i can do whatever i want i can only work in the morning so i can't return to the main building before during recreation at least there's quite a few places to kill time a white pit, the general building, even a chapel. I'll check them out. You got a yard map. Yay! Recreation time. Firefighting vehicles only. Cool. I love when you can search the... What did I get? Something caught my hand. Oh. Nice. This is so weird. Okay, now I can control it better, I guess. Hey, new fish! Puppies are fighting outside, if you can hear that. Are you talking to me? Of course, who else would I be talking to? Um, what do you want? I didn't have enough for lunch. I want to buy some snacks from the machine, but I, I'm out of money. Uh, what's that got to do with me? I want to give you a chance to help me out. Give me half the money in your pocket and I'll let you pass through here or else. Or else what? I'll teach you some prison etiquette. I'll teach you real hard! <laughs> it's like he's trying to extort money from me. I guess I can't expect peace and safety in prison. Uh, oh, that's locked? I can't do that? Get tough with him? Uh, let's see. Fighting is no joke. Should I really do it? Let's do it. Let's see what happens when we fight. You just messed with the wrong guy. Yeah. Well, this afternoon's gonna be more interesting than I thought. If you can take half my health, I'll let you go for today. Let's see what you got. Start. Uh, you have a higher agility, so get to go first. Oh, sweet. Double craziness. Uh. Um. Tag. Lump. Nice. Ow. What is this? Okay. Use item. I can't use the glass I just found. Okay. Ow! Jesus Christ. Oh man. How do I So I don't have any fighting moves. Okay. How do I... Wow. <laughs> okay. Bleed plus one. <laughs> My vision is so blurry. You lie on the ground for a while before the dizziness subsides. Can I go to the nurse? 
Ugh, I broke my whole body hurts. And he stole all but one of my dollars. Ugh. My money's gone. I shouldn't have tried to be so tough. You saw all that? Fucking know this is bad. Hi. Ugh. Give me a damn break. I said I'll pay back the money. I just need more time. I'm in prison. It's not as if I'm gonna run. Uh, what? Wait. You're not here to collect a debt? No. You, you startled me. I, I thought I was in for another beating. Sounds like you owe a lot of money. Mostly to the Black Claw King. But I borrowed a little from Bill to cover the interest. And then, two days ago, I borrowed some from Sam to buy painkillers. Then the new issue of Play Pup came out. I wasn't gonna buy it at first, but the cover was just tempting. So I bought a copy from Tony and, on credit, and he said that I get a discount if I bought beers as well, so... I get the picture. You're just a deadbeat, right? No, not me. I don't want to bail. But I have cash flow problem right now. Hey, uh, how about this? You can lend me some cash and help me through this time. When I'm back on my feet, I'll pay you back double. How about it? Do you take me for a fool? No. Kevin the Koala. What is, what, what is your story, Kevin? Uh, I forgot to... Can I read your story? Oh, he has a... Can I pickpocket him? Oh no, I can just like look at him, I guess. Alright. What is your story? Chat. Oh. Okay, I can do X trade. A short koala. The first time you meet him, he mistakes you for a thug coming to collect a debt. It turns out that he is a deadbeat who is constantly borrowing money to live up, live it up and never play pays his debts. Once he realizes who you are, he tries to borrow money from you too. Needless to say, he's attempt to take you for a full infuriates you. <laughs> I'm making a lot of friends though. What's this? There are some plants growing in the ground. Surely no one will mind if I pick some, right? Pick Iris. Wow, the golden legend. I guess no other plants will grow if I leave them like this. Well, all the weeds. Do I get like a gardening skill? Black Panther. Hey, I heard you work in the warden's office. Lisa, the accountant, disappeared, so they pulled me in to cover. Uh, it's boring as hell, but at least it pays pretty good. See anyone strange while you're there? Like a wolf? A wolf? No. The warden and I are the only ones there. Unless there's a secret room, but this isn't some movie. <sighs> hmm. We're looking for a wolf, too. Hey, what do you want? I want to befriend you. What? Dang it. I don't have enough to do that. Okay, well, I can also pay, play as him. There's these guys. Hmm. I can't pick those? Okay. I can pick these. Pigment. Okay. The, oh, it's the chapel. Stop. I can't. I can faintly hear people praying. Seems that there are a lot of devout prisoners in here. I mean, I might as well check it out. Why not? I never. Thought I'd find such a solemn place here. Makes me want to pray too. Is that a German? Uh, no, uh, Border Collie. Hello, my child. Welcome to the Hall of the Father. I'm Father Anderson. I'm here to spread his teaching and administer his blessings. I will lead you to the path of salvation. My child, do you feel troubled and find yourself haunted by nightmares in the cold of night? It is the father of the forest punishment for those who sin. As the fruit of his holy branches, you must not be tainted by the dirt of the mortal world. Confess to me. I will ask him to cleanse you of your sins and your morning with his morning dew, and bring your soul back to the light. Uh, no nightmare. I'm not plagued by any nightmares right now. Okay. May the father of the forest bless you. Donation box in prison. <laughs> Is this the test from the father of the forest? I have like one dollar. Keep it down. This is a quiet place. Let's 
So it's the, my buddy over here, right? Merciful father of the forest. Okay, so that's Bill. Mushrooms. Can I give these to the alpaca? So this is a general room. The sign on the door says general building. I guess it's a place for indoor activities. Hmm, it's locked, but it seems really lively inside. Hi, can someone open the door? Hi, friend. Stop shouting. You got the entrance fee? I got a dollar. Interest fee. Even this costs money? You're kidding, right? This is Black Claw Gang territory. Anyone who's not in our gang has to pay to come in. That's the rule. Possible to do anything in this hellhole without money. I only got one dollar. What's this? There's no sign on this building, and the door and the windows are all locked. How mysterious. Looks like a janitor. No answer. It must be empty. Who are you? The new guy? Yeah. You made me jump. I, I thought there was no one inside. You're right. There shouldn't be anyone here. So, who are you? I was a prisoner. Now I'm a ghost. But I'm here as the barbershop owner. Barbershop? Don't be surprised. I said I'm a ghost. There's nothing I can't do. I've been open for over a decade. I mainly do hair and tattoos. But I had to temporarily close because of the recent renovations. That's a shame. I need someone to take care of the split ends on my ears. I've closed my main business for now, but I have a, snooze, a few sidelines. Like posting quests and selling items. You might be interested. Alright. A piece of paper slides out from the door, picks up the paper, and reads it. Huh. I've been open for a long time, so many people always ask me about things. Over time, this place becomes a quest posting center for inmates. Anonymous client pay... Clients pay to take care of things for them, and I take a cut. Sounds like a pretty good business. What I just gave you was the most recent request. Complete it, and you'll earn money. And reputation. It's a much faster way to earn money than working. If you think you've got what it takes, take a quest and give it a try. Alright. Uh, let's see. Barbershop price. Oh, okay. Uh, love how that's not in English. Um... Oh, it seems you discovered a secret secret institution. The quest posted here usually offers generous rewards, but some of them have time limits and the quest will end when time runs out. You may get do-overs in video games, but this is real life. <laughs> uh, so if you fail an, a, or abandon a quest, it will never come back. Uh, news spreads like wildfire on this source, so your reputation will decrease if you fail or abandon a quest. You'll also lose mind due to humiliation. Dang. Okay. Let's put it this way. In the joint, being short of stuff isn't usually the problem. It's having too much stuff. Especially when you don't have anywhere to hide contraband. It's stressful. Believe you me. It'd be a shame if you had to give stuff away or destroy it just because you don't have anywhere to put it. But luckily I have uh, channels for selling things. So I started a business buying stuff from guys in here. I buy all kinds of stuff at a fair price. Even contraband is no problem. Sounds like I can bring useless things here to sell. Uh, sell an item. Uh, my leather shoes? Ooh, I can get a lot of money for my leather shoes. Does that mean I'm gonna have to be like, um, coin, basic, chewing gum, caramel bar, paper, demo paper crane? <laughs> An improvised item. Rubber gloves. 27 is not bad. Cloth. Lumber. Glass shard. Um, food. So, oh, 75? Food. Okay. The barbershop doesn't have. Oh, that's because. Oh, okay. Mint. Uh, mushroom. Okay. Okay, so I have 23 left. Mm. Uh, I 
here. It sells a glass shard. Yeah, it's almost broken anyway. Um, do I want to sell my mint or my mushroom? Both of my chewing gums. Okay. My girlfriend of a year uh, is coming to visit me. And I'm gonna take a chance uh, to propose to her. She loves flowers, so I want to give her some irises, a specialty of the prison. She'll be so touched. But I'm a devout believer in the father of force. I couldn't possibly pick flowers with my own hands. So for any brave man who uh, who's not afraid to incur his wrath, I'm offering a reward to carry out this difficult task for me. A hundred. Hmm. And I have seven days to do it. Okay. How do I press and hold to accept? I don't mind playing Cupid for a while. I just need two more irises, right? Yeah. Hi, buddy. What do you want, little fishy? Oh, I can't. He doesn't reply. Okay. He just ignored me. I guess my reputation isn't high enough. So oh, that's blocked. Reputation. You're a nobody right now. It's it's about time you raised your reputation. Go to the barbershop in the yard during recreation this afternoon. You'll find a good way to improve your reputation. You can also try taking part in boxing match night organized by the Bigfoot gang, but <laughs> you have to win. <laughs> or find a, uh, find a way to join a gang. Uh, as I say, if you can't beat them, join them. I don't really want to join a gang. I feel like that would be... There we go. I did that one. The door opens slightly. Welcome. Uh, deliver quest. The petals are all intact. I think the client will be satisfied. Here's your payment, Cupid. Nice. Alright, uh, so in a couple of hours I can go back to the main building and follow it. Um, that item? No, he doesn't have any more money. Uh, the nightmare. I swear absolutely no one can finish reading the book called The Awakening of Clothor, called Cthulhu. <laughs> not, uh, not because it's too hard, because it's just too, way too scary. I just read the first chapter and now I'm afraid to get up and, at, at night to piss. I think, if anyone thinks he's not a coward, read this book. I'm willing to pay for the emotional damage. If I remember correctly, it's the first book on the left of the fiction shelf. Finish reading The Awakening of Clo in the general building. Okay. Um... So, how much is it to get in here? Because I have a lot of money, apparently. Oh, nice. It's not that much. Okay. A sofa, pool table, music. This place doesn't feel like a prison at all. Ooh, more coffee. It's hot water. <laughs> okay. Drinking hot water will no longer restore body, but it will grant one... Sated, satiety instead. A prerequisite: try to uh, alleviate your hunger by drinking water. Okay. Um. Can I do that? Okay. Activate my specialty. Okay. I still don't know how to figure to do this. So. This lock is tighter than a claim with lockjaw. Okay, so here's the library, right? So now, does that mean if I paid it? Huh, that was hilarious. Uh, this music isn't too bad. But the tape is a copy. There's a lot of noise. There are some comics and adult magazines on the shelf. Nice. Do I have to pay every time I come in? Okay, I, I don't have to do it. I guess it's like a daily thing. Um, yeah, why not? Finish reading the- okay, can it really be that scary? Uh, press- okay. Uh, 
uh, finish reading the in the general domain. So I gotta go find that book. You got a foosball table? Shit, I don't know. Notebooks may be removed from the general building. Don't make any trouble for the block. Is this a library inside? Uh, let's see what kind of books there are. Library. Books are truly amazing, and library is a great place to recharge your battery. Pick a book from the shelf, find a seat, and start reading. If you can read the whole book, you definitely learn something from it. It could be an experience or a book ability. Okay. Biography. Um, fiction. Uh, elf. <laughs> Skills. Uh, the Awakened, that's the one I want. A two. So. Oh, cool. Yes, this is for making stuff. Okay. Um. Okay. Don't read my paper. It flapped its huge, sticky wing membranes as it floated beneath a faint starlight. The creature let out an ear-pacing shriek like nails scraping down a blackboard. I'm definitely having nightmares tonight. Okay. Oh, nice. Okay. Cool, it's almost dinner time. <gasps> nice. So very close. I did it! I finished it. If it weren't for those smart-ass scientists, the monster never would have been awakened. It eventually changed into a form so grotesque that it made me feel sick for days. Although after reading this, there's no nightmare that can scare me now. <laughs> after witnessing indescribable horrors, you will not, not be so easily defeated by nightmare. Yay! Children! For the love of God! How do I... Hmm. I have five out of five skill points. Okay. Can I do anything with them? I don't know. dinner time. Almost. How it like I should put the book back. Oh yeah, we should. We should okay. I guess maybe at some point there's going to have to be a time where I uh Deliver quest. Oh, was the books as scary as the client said? If you want to know, you'll have to read it for yourself. <laughs> Alright, view quest. Left foot fetish. It's so strange, another one of my slides has gone missing from the bathroom cupboard. And it's the left one! Again! The one that was missing last week was also left, uh, was the left one. If someone stole them, they would o Why would he only take the left ones? If he took the right one this time, at least I could make a pair! Uh, now I have to get a new pair! One pair... <laughs> one of the slides. <laughs> Alright, um... Hmm... Why not? It's a lot of money. So strange. Why not steal both of them at once? Who knows? Okay. Uh... So it doesn't give me any hints on it. Price of justice. You've been framed for reporting on a sewage violation. Okay, so I need to go talk to Red. Damn it. That is absolutely what I wanted to do, but whatever. Okay. 
almost eight. I'm gonna go back to the main building for dinner. I didn't expect this place to be so lively at night. I'll check out the nightlife before I go back to my cell. Did I have dinner? You said it would be three years, but it's been three, then three more, and then three more. It's almost ten now. I want once this job's done, or I'll just quit right now. You hear me? I'm still looking for him. It takes time, and you haven't exactly helped. And the thing I asked for, find a way to get in here ASAP. Otherwise, I won't take the blame if it doesn't get done. Hmm, interesting. He's on the phone. Uh, leather shoes. Let's, uh, let's try it. I'm in a bit of a hurry. Can you please let me use the phone? 10, 10, 10. Damn. Ooh. Two for to re roll. Please. <gasps> Yay! A success. Fine. But it better be, better be real important. You can make two more calls today. Connected. Looks like it worked. They confiscated my business card holder, but luckily I memorized Reed's office number. Of course, there's also another number I can't forget. Maggie's. Who should I call? Who the fuck do you think you should call? Call your goddamn lawyer. And then... Reads Law, your reliable litigation specialist. It's me, Thomas. Oh, finally! I was worthy, worried something bad had happened. It's not that easy to call from here. So how are things going with the case? Oh, I was just about to tell you, the appeal fell through. I don't know if Angelo did something or if it was the pressure from the mayor, but the retrial was denied. I have to wait a month before I can file another appeal. But as you know, the mayoral election is in 21 days. Even if the court does accept it, it's hopeless. Damn, those sons of bitches. But don't lose heart, I have some good news. Good news? Do you remember the anonymous phone call you received the night before you were arrested? I remember, it was a woman. She said she had evidence that the mayor was taking bribes. I get calls like that every day from scammers selling false information. I know you've fallen for a few times and gotten screwed out of a lot of money, but that one could be real. Remember where she wanted to meet you? A little bar called Baroness? Uh, what about it? My investigation was, uh, has uncovered that the bar has some connection with the mayor. If I can't explain properly, but I can't explain properly over the phone, we need to meet in person. Only you may have to wait a few days. Ugh. The prison said there are so many visit requests that all slots are full, and even lawyers need to go on the waiting list. So I just have to sit here twiddling my thumbs? I know you're anxious. Do you think you could possibly ask one of the guards to see if there's a way to bypass the waiting list? It might be worth a try, but what else, What have I got to do, right? What else have I got to do? Then we'll come to th at this from both sides. I'll carry on looking for clues. You make sure you be careful in there. Disconnect the tone. Ugh. If we can really get our hands on the evidence of their crimes. This is in no time to go down without a fight. So now I have to find a way to solve the visitation problem. Okay. Uh, ask a guard. Uh, there's one guy in particular. This guy. Okay. Do you need anything? Uh, ask about visitation. Visitation? Oh, you'll have to ask Bruce. He's in charge of that. C collect daily essentials? Um... Cool. Uh, buy items. Cookie. <laughs> okay. I'm on the break of starvation. Is this where I get dinner? Yeah, you're in the right place. I make the best waffles in this joint. Are waffles the only thing for dinner? There's nothing wrong with waffles. They're tasty and filling. There's nothing more important in prison than a full stomach. And you're willing. And if you're willing to pay, I can add a spoonful of cream for you. Try it. I'm sure you'll like it dinner. Uh, 
uh, club dinner. Want some cream with that? You'll like it. Uh, sure, why not? I have money. Sure, I'll have some. He puts a big blob of cream on your waffle. <laughs> You're gonna love it. I guarantee. <laughs> Great. $20 for cream. That's fantastic. You want to know if people get tired of eating nothing but waffles for dinner? Well, even though you are uh, they're all waffles, I make them different. Different flavors every day. Monday is paprika? Ew. Tuesday is... Oh, when... Why? Okay, I think I got it. Okay. Drink hot water. Okay. Where is the Black Panther dude go? Oh my god. Is that Rocket Raccoon? Mm. Noodle. <laughs> hey guys, don't blink. Guess which hand the card's in. The left. No, the right. 20 bucks says it's the right. Hey, are you sure? Of course. Ah, uh, don't you know anteaters are amazing and have amazing eyesight? Okay, since you're sure, I also bet right. Wait. Are you his shill? Huh? Uh. Hey. You sure your information's reliable? It's a lot of money you were talking about. You just have to take my word for it. Anyway, I'm gonna give it a try. I hear there is a single cells and a breakfast buffet. The main thing is I won't be locked up with these guys anymore. Hmm. Sounds good. I'll find a way to get the money together. Save the place for me. You better hurry. That sounds like a scam. Hey. Uh, okay. Good. Oops. Add attention! What is- Huh? You have a question about visitation. I heard that all visitation slots are full and even lawyers need to get on the waiting list. <laughs> lawyers. I tell you. Even if the father of the forest himself came down from the sky, he'd have to wait like everybody else. Last month, some s son of a bitch injured the guard escorting him during visitation. So now security and visitation's been doubled. Naturally, we've had to reduce the number of visit rooms. That seems like too much of a coincidence. But I really need to see my lawyer. Is there any way to buy it past the waiting list? Of course there is, but my help comes with conditions attached. Conditions? Do you know that there are three gangs in the prison? One of them is the Caesars the Chips Black Claw Gang. I need you to go into his cell. There should be a backup ledger there. If you can find it and bring it to me, I'll take care of a visitation for you. A ledger? Why not toss a cell and find it yourself? Don't ask so many questions. It's not your concern. You just have to answer. Will you do it or not? Does he want me to use me as a pawn? Yes, he does. But I have no other choice right now. I need him so I can see Reed as soon as possible. I guess I can give it a try. I'll bring it. Right, Caesar cell is B205. I'll be waiting. Alright. Uh, so it's this way. Okay, B205. So it'd be upstairs. Um. Okay, so it's this one. Yep, and the Raphael, the Mandrill? What's a Mandrill? This is B205. Bruce of the Ledger should be here. Although, do I really want to seal it for him? This cell belongs to the boss of the Black Claw Gang. Besides, why would the captain of the guards need to be so sneaky? What's he up to? It's like I'm parachuting blindfolded. I have a feeling I'm about to jump into a pit of fire. If I could think of another way, there's no way I'd take the risk. Start search. You search high and low, but the ledger is nowhere to be found. Right. It's not on the table or under the bed. The only place left is the locked cupboard. Ledger must be inside. I have to open it. Uh, I don't have a tool. Hmm, I need a lockpick to open this cupboard. Maybe I can make one. The material shouldn't be too hard to find. You've got hunger. Thought I ate my waffles. Did I not eat my waffles? Hmm. What 
lockdown prep. Oh, good. I have a couple of hours. Um, collect two nails. Where would I get nails? What is there more of in a prison than anything else? Locks, of course. Locks on the doors, locks on cupboards, locks in the every shape and size. Each one trying to keep you out. But the good thing is that you know how to deal with them. All you need is a nail and a straightened paper clip. You can befriend prisoners with these items and buy them from them. Okay. Hmm. I don't have nails. Can I buy nails from you? Um, can I buy a coffee grinder? Box pen up, really. Um... My pockets are full anyway. Who would have nails? Uh, the investment broker? Hey, buddy. Is that a whoosh I can smell? He doesn't reply. Okay, so I can't make friends with him yet. I just want to be friends with everybody. What's up? Hey, you lummox! What the hell do you think you're doing? First you hike the route fees. Now you try to stop me collecting my debt? Is the Bigfoot gang trying to start a war? Good thing you started running your mouth down there, pipsqueak. I almost trampled you. Haven't you got anything better to do? Out of my way. I got business to attend to. <laughs> well, I'm here tonight. Your business will just have to wait. Um... I'd like to say I'm not trying to bail out on my dad. I'm just a little short of cash. I'll pay you back when the uh, I get the money together. The Bigfoot gang's protecting me for two days. Kevin. My little Kevin. Do you have any idea what you're doing? You think you can use this lummox to default on the Black Claw gang debt? You're more stupid than I thought. Be ready to pay the price. Oh. Can I go in here? Oh wait, this is my room. Hey buddy, pal. Can I befriend you? Sam, you seem to have a great relationship with your girlfriend. I envy you. Of course, my Nicole's unique. And just to let you know, I get out on parole in two months. I'm gonna marry her as soon as I get out. You've already reset a date. More precisely, her mom set the date. But you know what mothers-in-laws are like. So I need to make sure I keep my head down these, these days. If anything goes wrong with my parole, I'm sure she'll- uh, I'll lose her. This girl's the only thing on his mind. And Nicole is my little lamb. Feels like I'm gonna faint just thinking about her. Alright, Sam. Oh, dang it. A donkey who looks completely worn and unexceptional. He plans on keeping a low profile for the next two months so that his parole application go through. According to him, his lovely and charming fiance Nicole is waiting for him on the outside. They have a set date for their wedding and everything is going as he hopes. He does not want any surprises at this critical time. Well, uh, you got me as a roommate, buddy. <laughs> okay, um, organized items. Uh, I got soap. Oh, and toothpaste. Cookies and food. Put in all of it. Cloth. Oh, toothbrush. Hold on to that. I can't open that one yet. Okay. 8 a.m. Morning head count. Lunch, recreation, dinner, evening, bathroom opens to save water. Time spent in the bathroom may not exceed 30 minutes. Dang. Okay. Uh, 22 is locked down. Okay. How to find nails? Where can I find nails? Where are the bathrooms? <laughs> nice. Okay. Do you have nails? The wheels of fate are turning. Uh, oh man.
Who's this guy? Oh, where am I? The TV room? Me? I think it's that way. Where's that way? Hey, that's the Black Claw King's cupboard. Keep your hands off. Oh, sorry. Need financial services? Uh, no, I'm good. I need a fucking... Don't waste my time. Cool. Awesome. Fantastic. Love that for me. I need a goddamn nail! You know where I can get a nail, hyena? Vincent. Watch TV? The Sharp Tooth Gang runs this TV room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, about the TV schedule too. Poor lonely family, really. No, fuck me. Oh, damn it. I oh, she's a teacher, son of us. I guess the only beautiful leopard would go that far. Is that a duck? Now I think I understand why he was able to build such a huge criminal empire. Uh, okay, cool. I don't know how to enable this shit, so can I just leave? How much time did that- okay, not so much time. Fantastic. Are you psychic? Okay. Where am I? A boxing ring? Of course I am. This place has a real prison vibe. Okay. How about you? Want to give it a try? Uh, I'm good. Hmm. How much you want for the info? Well, I could give you a complete control of the kitchen smuggling route. I think you know better than me how important it is. <laughs> if you just tell me what the Sharp Tooth Gang's planning, I won't go higher than 200. But if you can change the info and spread it to the Black Claw Gang, I can add another 300 after it's done. Change it to what? Listen good. It's simple. That's also a pretty good move. Huh? Why'd you say also? Uh, no reason. It's just a habit. Yep, mm-hmm. Do you have a nail? What would be my chances of winning in a fight? Nah. <laughs> I ate too much tonight. Mm -hmm. Okay. Go down. Okay. But seriously, who would I buy nails from? Hi there. What's up, handsome? I want to befriend you. Hi there, little fella. Little... <laughs> I see you staring at me. You up to something naughty? Uh, no. You must understand, Mr. Horse. I wasn't staring. You see, now you just made two big mistakes in one tiny little sentence. If you're not careful, I might have to punish you. Two mistakes? First, you see my horn? I'm clearly a unicorn. A unicorn. Second, don't call me mister. Gender labels can find me. As a unicorn, I should be free and unrestrained. So, I should call you Free Unicorn? Just call me by my name, Ray. That's much more intimate. Lovely. Good for me. A brown horse who claims to be a unicorn, they may look slightly odd, but they their artistic flamboyance is never dull. He, they reject gender labels and has a unique view of the relationship between gender and self. However, they make no secret of their love for handsome guys. Awesome. I gotta go take a shower. Where am I supposed to get nails? I don't know. I also don't know where I'm supposed to take a shower. Ugh. Humid air is thick with testosterone. The floor is very slippery. I gotta be careful not to fall and hit my head. Oh, good. <laughs> Why don't I have a tail? Even though you're in prison, you should still try to clean and be presentable and can't do that without bathing. If you don't shower for two days, you'll start to smell and your charisma will be greatly reduced. Showering will, will, bleh, will, showering will restore your stamina and using soap will also restore your body. You can only shower once a day. After all, you don't want to get a reputation as a guy who spends too much time hanging around in the bathroom. Didn't realize that was an issue, but okay. 
Uh, I don't have silk. Quick wash. Excellent. <laughs> Present nightlife. Okay, cool. Where do I get nails? Bulletproof glass with a thick iron mesh. Talk about the ultimate security combination. Uh, I'm pretty sure everybody's gonna be like gone. Hey, buddy. Of course, I don't have enough focus points. How many focus points do I need to befriend that guy? Okay. <clears throat> Is it this one? Yeah. Seriously. Can I listen to y'all? You really want to buy my mucus? You ain't gonna do anything weird with it, are you? I don't want to get in trouble, Croak. Don't worry, I'm just trying to improve the formula for a new drug. If it works like I think it will, it might have an anesthetic effect. A anesthetic? I have a bad feeling about this, Croak. Hmm. about you? Do you have nails? Go away. Cool. Um... No, I can't go up. The door is tight. I can't go upstairs from here at night. <clears throat> what about you? An appropriate opportunity, uh, an opportunity this good doesn't come along every day. It'll make your current profits look like small change. Are these electronic bonds of your safe? If the company fails, are you the one responsible? Don't worry, the money's used to invest in the gold mine. The gold's right there in the ground. What could go wrong? Besides, the dividends from the last quarter have already been paid. You can ask Robert if you don't believe me. He made a fortune thanks to me. Mm-hmm. How about you? Do you have nails? I don't want to befriend everybody. I just want to talk. <laughs> Who has nails? Uh, trade? I don't have anything. Okay. Wait, where are you going? Okay. Don't get too close to me. Uh, yeah, okay, cool. Get, get, can I leave? Thank you. Alright. Better than starving. What time is it? It is time for me to get a freaking nail! Today's in it. To enable your lazy maggots to earn your keep, the prisoner's uh, work assignments there are vacancies in the laundry room. Cool. Where'd my friend get to? Your warthog friend? I don't know. Time's ready now. Okay, Eddie. Hmm. I'm not thirsty. Fantastic. my room. Doesn't look like I can like investigate anybody else's room. I mean, I guess at this point all I can really do is go to bed, right? This potted plant seems to be made of plastic. 
I want to grow a plant, I guess we'll have to wait for the full version. <laughs> nice. Make the bed. Remove the bed sheet. Place the pillow. Place the bed sheet. Place the pillow. I need to get a pillow. Where do I get a pillow? I need to get a blanket. Where do I get all of this shit? Okay. Mm. I seriously don't know where to look at, like get anything. nighttime before I figure or it's like gonna be locked down before anything yeah like I have bare like less than an hour <sighs> can I not get nails right now do I have to talk to everybody what does this mean that's like what is this thing right here like the triangle with the thing in the bubber I have two paper clips. Oh, I need this to work out. Afternoons are. I gotta find. I've gone missing from the bathroom cupboard. It's the left one again. Wait a minute. Equipment, top drill shoes. Oh. But seriously, where can I get nails? We're fucking real. Um. I'm so close. What do you want? I mean, I might as well just go to bed, right? There's Jimmy. Not to be confused with Jeffrey. <clears throat> Though it's a pleasure to greet a friend from afar. Oh, here's my other friend. I'm in the middle of something. Don't interrupt my train of thought. Rudolph. Huh. Do you know me? No. <laughs> Why do you have a question mark above your head? He's watching TV. Okay. So... Even in prison, money's still important, right? That's why the Black Claw Gang provides loans and saving services. Okay. Not everyone in here is broke. Some are even rich. If you don't feel like having too much money on you, or if you want to make your money grow, then save it with us. We pay higher interest, but you have to leave the funds with us for three days. If you're short of, short of money, you can come to us for a loan. We won't charge much interest. You have three days to do what you gotta do, and then pay the money back with interest. The word of warning, the Black Cloud Gang hates it when folks don't pay up on time. So you better not try it. That's everything. So what? Um, let's put- oh, no. Let's see. Alright. Uh, well I've gotta call it because I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. So I'm just gonna go to bed. 
this goat dude. I already talked to him, I think. But I also gotta go check on my laundry. I also don't know where to get a pillow and a blanket. I can't make the bed if I don't have a pillow and a blanket. I don't have a pillow! I don't have a blanket. I can't go to bed. What is this? Um, sure. Alright. So, let's try this again. Um, so, I have 15 minutes to find a pillow and a blanket. So, can I buy one from this guy? Uh, no. Wait, I can. Okay. Refresh toothpaste to paper. Yes. Confirm. Confirm. Yeah, I'm already out of money. Uh. I mean, that's good enough for now, right? And then I can just get more later. today. My eyelids are feeling heavy. Yeah, mine too. <laughs> oh shit, I'm gonna have nightmares because of that book I read, right? Oh. 7 a.m. But I haven't gotten up yet. Okay. Survival. Hey, your survival meters are low. I think you need to keep an eye on them. You have two survival meters. Body, which represents your physical function. Mind, which represents your mental stress. Sweet. There's danger around every corner in prison. When your body falls below 30, your strength and agility will be halved. Even worse, if you go to sleep in a weakened physical state, you'll feel pain when you wake up and it's like, oh, fantastic. If you carry on like this, you'll soon end up completely out of action. Apples, yogurts, and painkillers can restore your body quickly. Prison is an immensely stressful environment. When your mind falls below 30, your agility and intelligence are, will be halved. Going to sleep in a bad mental state is obviously not good, and depression will soon put an end to your prison life. What does that mean? Mint caramel bars and alcohol can restore your mind quickly. Praying in chapel, watching TV at night, or reading magazines and playing video games in bed can also restore mind. Okay. morning already uh there's no sleeping in dang okay so i have a dollar to my name head count um okay so what i need to do what do i need to do for um Okay. Oh, I didn't even eat my waffle. Okay. Oh, that's a bit cheap. Okay, um... How do I check my inventory? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Okay. Yes. Did that do anything? That is a violation. <laughs> uh... Okay. Served two days. Gang unaffiliated. 
occupation, undercover journalist, conduct for something. Level two reputation. I guess that's not bad. My strength has gone down significantly. Um, pretty sure my agility has too. Uh, how... <clears throat> What is this? Uh, yard map, health certificate, laundry room, work permit. Basic. <clears throat> okay. So I do have to get a pair of slides. Uh, now we'll have to get it. Okay, so I need to buy a pair of slides from my buddy the unicorn. Ray the unicorn. <clears throat> no attention! Right, shut your mouth. The head count's about to start. Counts one, two, three. Mm, that's 47 to 47. All inmates present in the count of four. No surprise in this head count. That's good. Remember, any surprises for me will mean the world of trouble for you. Now I've got a real surprise for you. A uh, chicken. Um. Hi. Warden. I was about to read these fellows your announcement. Why are you here in the prison? Hello, Captain Bruce. I appreciate your willingness to share the workload. But I prefer to give the news to these kids in person, as it is my duty, after all. Despite my leg problems, it's not too much trouble to get here from the administration building. If I couldn't even do that, I'm sure the board would have asked me to retire. Wouldn't you say so, Captain Bruce? R retire? No, no, I've never thought about that. Oh, ho, ho. I know you didn't mean that. Allow me to say a few words to everyone. Oh, uh, yes, uh, of course. Stand at attention! Warden Clark is about to make an important amount announcement. Stand up straight and listen carefully. Eyes and ears open. Hello. I see our captain is still as spirited as ever. He's taken so much of the burden off me. Ho oh, ho. Scanning the prisoners in front of him. Hmm. I've seen some new faces over the last few days. I hope you can all live peacefully in your new home. The announcement I have for you today relates to just that. I hope it will all give you full... Attention. To show just how humane our correctional facility is, a decision has been made to give our inmates a feeling of home. Uh, we'll be starting a package service, as well as letters you can now receive packages from outside. The weight limit is 10 kilograms, and, can't, and the size cannot be bigger than a shoebox. We hope you will abide by the prison regulations and not attempt to smuggle any contraband, which will be confiscated if found. Warden Clark, blah blah blah. No contraband. Sounds good to me. Don't go skimming off the any off the top. About damn time. Hey, show some gratitude for the warden's kindness. Dismissed! Alright. The warden seems to be a stand-up kind of guy and receiving packages. That sounds like a good news. Okay. Um, I have a dollar. Hey, do you still have that thing of yours? That thing of mine? Yeah, that thing. You know, the thing. Hey, what are you talking about? Too embarrassed to say in front of everyone. Forget it. Just pretend I never mentioned it. I'll tell you when I have a little more privacy. Ugh. Okay. Hi there, handsome. What's up? Uh, chat. Hitting on me again? That's the second time today. I know my charms are irresistible, but it's better to take things slow. I wasn't? You don't have to explain, sugar cube. Can you deny that you came to talk so that we could improve our relationship? Uh, okay. I can't. I guess you're right. Exactly. This place may have, be, have imprisoned your body, but maybe it's the perfect chance to free your true nature. Cool. Slides. A hundred... Smileys? Oh, they're locked. Dang it. Okay. Punk sunglasses. Are you serious? Do I need to get him to, like, fall in love with me? I see Squiggle. Okay. Uh-oh. The Black Claw gang might make a move soon. You have to be smart! 
The boss. Business is good. Why do we have to fight them? Not that I'm doubting you or anything, I'm just a little curious. Is that hump of yours dividing the blood from your brain? It's obvious. You're trying to force the Black Cloud Gang to cede the general building to us. <sighs> then we can convert it into an indoor gym. Then water won't run down into our butt cracks when we pump iron in the rain. I, didn't I tell you so? Don't interrupt my train of thought. Okay, cool. Do you need anything? Uh, daily essentials. Left it this week. I got everything. Cookie, 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 cookie. Okay. Let's go. Um, it's gonna work. My Even though my my body is in very bad shape. <laughs> Get to work. All right, nine minutes or and or seconds. So let's go. One, this is two, this is three, this is four, this is five, this is six, this is seven, this is eight, this is nine. Yeah, there we go. Uh, Sock seven minutes. One, this is two, this is three, this is four, this is five, this is six, this is seven. for some fucking reason. All right. Get ourselves a blanket. organize our items. I just got some quick drying glue. I wonder if I can sell this. And I'll need that for a shower. Just good to have on hand. Okay. 
What is this? Cloth. Okay. Okay. Uh-oh. Do you owe money again? Quit following me around, Pipsqueak. But Bill, you promised to protect me. The Black Hog Claw Gang guys are watching. Hey, is your brain not working right, or do you just think I got a bad memory? The deal was 20 for one night's protection. I'm off duty. Uh, can I get another day on credit? Just one more day. I'll even take half a day. I'm gonna play a few hands at the club this afternoon. You know I got skills. Maybe I can... You seriously asking me for credit? Not unless you're willing to give me a few teeth as a deposit. Ah, uh, Man, you're in for it, dude. Why are you fucking staring at me, bro? You want me to stare at you? Go away. Fine. Where's the panther? Hmm. Ho ho, William. Do you have time for a drink with me? I'm curiously. How do you always have a alcohol? That's top secret, I'm afraid. Unless I cannot say. <laughs> In that case, um, I won't. You won't drink. I won't ask. <laughs> William, talking with you is truly a ray of sunshine in this dark place. <laughs> Lovely. All right, we're gonna do this for another ten minutes because I am just trying to get nails, and I don't know where I was supposed to get them. What's this place? Oh wait, this is a shower, right? This is a magnetic door. It's only unlocked at night. Okay, it's a shower. Nobody's in here. Dang. Okay. Examine the lock. Uh, read the sign. Weird. I don't see a keyhole. It must be magnetic. Okay. Hmm. Okay. So I was being watched in that area and I'm not being watched in here. Why so close? What do you want? You want to befriend the Panther Man. Maxis, this close to losing it. You need to keep an eye on him. I don't want any trouble now. Got it. I'll try to pour some water on the powder keg, but... But what? But if the hole in the kitchen gets blocked, we won't be able to afford to serve at the end of the month. And as you know, his appetite's suddenly gone through the roof. I'm getting worried. Don't worry. I'll handle it. And I've been calling in all debts lately. Just to give Max an outlet for strength. Fine. I'll arrange it. Alright, so that's Caesar, the chimp. Is that tape here? Uh, my head! My head! It's about to split open! Hey, is it really that bad? Is it hypnosis or some kind of superpower? Uh, something's wrong. It shouldn't be. Shouldn't be what? We just wanted to see if you're making all that up all that home no home nope so that but why can I not talk? Probably because it's the end of the day. Uh up all that hypnosis stuff. I don't wanna make this guy's head explode. Strange, it's just ordinary hypnosis. He should be asleep, not struggling. Hey <laughs> Crunchy, did uh did you let me out or was it this long nose fellow? Oops. Hey, stop. You're making him crazy. Although he's not exactly normal at the best of times. Uh, when you hear me sneeze, you'll... Hey, what's the hurry? I'm not done with you yet. <laughs> Wake up! Chew! Uh... Uh, hey, I thought you were gonna hypnotize me, long nose. What are you staring at? Let's get started. Crunchy. Y you are crunchy, right? You're back? What are you talking about? Am I gonna be hypnotized or not? Hey, buddy. Hi. Hello. What do you want, fish? 
Um, I'm gonna go find the Panther Man. Where did Panther Man go? Hmm. You should cover your nose. Let's see. The wheels of fate are turning. So, excellent news, Wilbur. Buddy, take care of your money. And your money will take care of you. Cool. Hmm. Alright. No sign of the Panther Man. Unless he's like in a place. So I can't get another job. Can I talk to Bruce about getting another job? At attention, what is it? Prison applications. Work in laundry, work in laundry. Okay, under construction. Increase the number of phone calls you can get. Make per day. Grants four hours of computer use in the general building. Hmm. Okay, so I can't get a job, another job yet. That's something I have to work up to. Okay, so Let's just make money for a while. Ugh, my eyes are burning. I'm hungry again. Time's running out. Okay, buddy. Workbenches for mixing the detergent. The table is full of bottles and jars. Detergent powder, de greasing powder, softener bleach. One that I can't even pronounce. How many ingredients? How am I supposed to mix them? I need a recipe. The whiteboard seems to have detergent recipes. Mixing room instruction. Workers must strictly follow the recipe when mixing detergent. Each of the ingredients must be evenly mixed. Detergent powder, four scoops. Softener, half scoop. Bleach one scoop, reducing agent two scoops. Caution, caution, it has been found that detergent made according to the old recipe can be highly corrosive in some circumstances. To avoid damaging the inside of the washing machine, the recipe has been updated as follow. Detergent powder, five scoops. Degreasing powder, or degreasing powder, one scoop. Okay. A softener, half a scoop. Bleach, half a scoop. Reducing agent, half a scoop. Workers are required to follow the new recipe and will not be paid if the old recipe is used. Okay. Two recipes? I only get paid for the new recipe. I better not get mixed up. The old recipe will make a solution that reacts with well. Interesting. Maybe it can be used as a rust Okay. Um. Mix the detergent. Mix the rest. I just hold on to it. Alright, well, that helped with my body and soul, not with, or that 
cope with my mind, but not anything else. So that's great. Oh, my skills. Okay. Hmm. Huh. So, I'm up with the sharp tooth gang. Okay. And I just gotta make friends with everybody. That's gonna take a minute. can't go to the cafeteria yet. Can we rest? Is that something that can be done? Like we can just rest until lunch, which is in like five minutes? Yeah. Okay. Let's go get lunch. Chow time. Hey, what do you want to eat? Um, pumpkin porridge or omelet. I mean, I have money now. Immediately restores four focus points. Reduces duration of injury by two days. Okay. Um... I kind of need something that gives me body. Let's see, who can I sit with? I feel more light and agile now. I think I've seen you somewhere before. I'm kidding, everyone's seen everyone in here. Completely dumb. I mean, before I came in here. You must be mistaken. I got caught straight after I came from to the city. I mean, Panthers all look alike. Oh, really? Hey, buddy. He's eating an omelet. Oh. What's going on with the anteater and the pangolin over here? Hi. What did you have for lunch today? What do you think? Pumpkin porridge on Monday, pumpkin porridge on Tuesday, and damn pumpkin porridge on Wednesday. This place doesn't have much respect for us Xenarthians. Xenarthians? I heard that some prisons on the West Coast offer ant snake shakes. Hang on there, buddy. Uh, I know we share the same problem, but I have to correct you. I'm a full of, full of dotto. Believe me, these scales have brought me no end of trouble. A full adato, but I thought armadillos were center the road of How an armadillo? I'm a pangolin! <laughs> Are you seriously telling me you've mistaken me for an armadillo all this time? Wait, I heard pangolin scales have medicinal properties, is that right? Ugh! No! I was just kidding. I am an armadillo. I just have a unique shell. <laughs> or maybe just to get him off your case. <laughs> Hi, buddy. Yes, I can. Okay, cool. Oh, it just immediately turns into one o'clock. And we're out here. Okay. I found stuff in here yesterday. Nothing. Someone's thrown up inside. Ooh, excellent. Ooh. I have no body. Can I buy painkillers in here? Vending machine is a real prison style. Um, mm, yogurt. Just so it takes up a whole thing. Okay, I get it. I get it.
<laughs> okay, I need to work out. That was like the last thing, right? So let's go. Well, they're all hanging out in the basement. Ooh, Panther Man. I've always wondered which of you two was faster. He's the comment. I don't. He's the comment. I don't think I stand a chance. <laughs> I got the feeling you're ribbing me, biker boy. Yeah, if I could ride, I might be faster. <coughs> Excuse me, I just choked on air for some reason. Oh. Why don't we have a race and see? Then let's get started. <laughs> what? Whew, that was close. You almost had me. I'd expect nothing less from the comet. I got careless at the last turn. You win this one. What, what did you just... Did I miss something? It's called an imagination dash. It's a unique training method for we runners use. And it lets us simulate a full-on race when there's not much space. Oh, I get it. Like an imaginary opponent in wrestling, right? Ah, I once imagined I was fighting a giant praying mantis. Unfortunately, I lost. Be my friend? What do you want? Be my friend. Hey, buddy. You haven't seen a wolf around here, have you? A gray one? Can you tell me something else about him? His name is Fenrir. He owes me money. A lot of money. I heard he's in this joint, but no one's seen him. I've looked all over, but there's no sign of him. He must be hiding from you. Could someone else have gotten to him? <laughs> if you help me find him, I'll share the money with you. Alright. Okay, I'll keep my eyes out. Nice! A black panther who always keeps a low profile. After striking up a conversation, he asks you to help him find a wolf named Fenrir. Somewhere in the prison, claiming that Fenrir owes him a lot of money. Although his story sounds very intriguing, you cannot shake the feeling that he is hiding something from you. Hmm. Okay. My body is too weak. I should refrain from strenuous exercise. <laughs> Dang it. Can I eat this mushroom? <clears throat> mm. uh, sell items. Okay, I can sell this. Awesome. Rust remover. Will I take five for it? Hmm. Alright. <clears throat> I have to be 20 to get in. But there might be nails in the craft room. Hmm. A 3D printer? Oh, it's a Gashapon machine. The capsules are filled with packets of paint of various colors. Looks like the Black Claw Gang is using it for another source of income. I have to say, those guys really have a head for business. Nice. Toolbox Adventure. DIY Maestro. Mm. Okay, sit and rigging. <clears throat> the caramel bar, okay. I just need to move the covered portions forward five centimeters, then I can sort of piece of cardboard on the other side and make a secret compartment. Such a simple ideal. Why didn't I think of it before? Yeah! I don't know how to enable things. Wait. Awesome. 
These pictures are very creative. Nails? Nails? <gasps> Paper and paint, at least. Nails, 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 nails. <gasps> Oops. Oh, scissors are great. enemy of chaos demon the ruler of the closet land oh it's fiction <laughs> excuse me finished it too. Dang it. Mm -hmm. Uh, I forget it. Not this time. Okay. Um, I keep forgetting how to like check. All right. Eat your waffles. All right. We gotta find these freaking nails. soap yesterday so a walrus there's no peace and quiet anywhere that's fine mm. uh, okay <laughs> it's almost like a bubble eye. Did not change my freaking thing at all. Hey, buddy. Ooh, canvas shoes. Um, do you have nails? Um, one of you is have has to have nails. Hey, what are you looking at? I'm just wandering around. I'm not disturbing you, am I? No, sorry. I'm just a little on edge. Why? Have you pissed someone off? <sighs> I'm a former detective, so you could say that. I caught a lot of guy bad guys in my time. More than a few of them are in here. If I was any less cautious, I might have been taken out a long time ago. That sounds terrible. But how did a detective end up in prison? Were you framed too? I don't want to talk about this right now. Maybe I'll tell you if we get a chance later. All right. This highly uh, cautious capybara was a police detective before he was incarcerated, which has to be the most unpopular profession in this place. He caught quite a few bad guys in his time, some of whom are locked up in this prison. As for how he ended up in this place, he does not really like to talk about it. Added cap, interesting. Paper, pencil, rest remover. Pen, it's. Ooh, he has slides too. Shooting down pen. Ugh! Okay. One of you has to have a freaking couple of nails. Mm. Bro, is it true that you ate bamboo when you were back home? <laughs> Green bamboo and fine alcohol are a match made in heaven. Just thinking about chewing something that make that that tough makes my teeth hurt. Oh, but you must have used some kind of mystical kung fu power. Whatever do you mean? You know, like running on water, flying from trees, and biting through bamboo. Uh, that must have been the secret to how you make your booze. 
It's always a pleasure to greet a friend from afar. Your friend, you! Haha, <laughs> name's Lee San. Lee San. Uh, but my friends call me Old Lee. Old Lee? Well, that's pretty easy to remember. Uh, today marks the tenth year of my incarceration. This decade has flown by in the blink of an eye. Really? You don't seem all at all down. Oh, life has been both happiness and sadness. Why wear the sadness on one's face? You can still have happiness after ten years in this place? I must say I admire your attitude. An ancient philosopher once said a wise man seeks neither a full belly nor a comfortable home. Furthermore, even within these prison walls, there is a place where I can be free. A place where you can be free? The kitchen afternoon uh, afternoon leads to a place of freedom and good, true, good and true. Perhaps if fortune favors you, happiness will come into view. Nice. Is that some kind of riddle? Yep. Middle-aged panda, whose real name is Li Zhang, and loves to adorn his speech with poetry and proverbs. He has been inside for 10 years, but seems to be content. Though through his poems, he's revealed that there is a hidden place where he can be free in the prison. He is a heavy drinker and claims uh, that it is impossible for him to get drunk. Even in prison, he has a ways of making sure he always get, has good booze. All right, well, that's good to know because you're a friend now. Uh, ooh, okay. Yeah, tea bags, a spades, nice. Okay, and liquor, but no freaking nails! What's going on here? Hey man, is it true that you pangolins are really good at digging? Yeah, that was my job before I got locked up. It was so boring! Well, if you're so good at digging, why don't you just dig your way out of here? You mean break out? Yeah, these walls wouldn't be able to stop you, right? First, uh, I'll be released in a few years. So uh, there's no need to risk it. Second, my real enemy is out there. I might live longer in here. If only we could swap bodies. Heh, <laughs> if only. That would be great. Hey, buddy. Where the hell could he be hiding? Maybe this prison has a few more secret locations. Just come straight to me if you find any clues. I always feel like this guy's hiding something from me. Alright. I gotta be have some friends in here somewhere, right? Wait, I made friends with jo Joseph, right? Hey, Joseph, are you confident that you'll win the fight tomorrow? You better get an early night and don't eat lunch tomorrow. You won't want to risk getting diarrhea. Why do you look more nervous than me? Because I'm betting everything I have on you. Is that right? I guess it's not that much. And if you have money for gambling, why don't you settle up all the stuff you bought on credit? What? Oh, I, I just remembered. I, I have a thing I have to buy. Uh-huh. Hey, Joseph. Talk to me. Iodine? <laughs> okay. And yogurt. Um... Oh, that's Caesar the Chip. Okay. Alright, Rudolph. Do you know the golden ratio of performing? I've only heard of the golden ratio of an actor's body. Ah, that's the difference between you movie and TV actors and us stage actors. To capture the audience, the performance needs to be 61.8% true and 38.1% false. Seemingly true, yet seemingly false. Almost impossible to tell apart. What about the remaining 0.1%? Oh, your mouth is pretty good. Just forget about that. An actor's reason and emotion should also adhere to the golden ratio. Okay. Huh, do you know me? Can I befriend you? An autograph? Oh, no. Uh, forget it. I was just kidding around. I know no one remembers me after all this time. So, you're an actor? Oh, not just an actor. I was a superstar back in the day. I'm the one who played the Comet in uh, Neighborhood Avengers. Oh, I know the Comet, the superhero. He was has lightning speed and never takes off his mask. Yeah, the damn mask. That's why no one knows it's me who played him. The audience only recognizes the Comet. No one knows it was Rudolph the Reindeer behind the mask. What a heartbreaking story. A reindeer with huge antlers and imposing physical presence who played a comet in the popular superhero movie Neighborhood Avenger. However, despite the popularity of the character, he remained all, almost unknown as an actor. The fact that the masked hero 
could never show his face made him angry and resentful. Yes! Shit. Okay. But I can buy two of them at least. Okay. I just have to make friends with everybody? This is a nightmare. What's Rudolph doing? Hmm. What are you doing? What are you doing? I'm thinking about something. I'm also thinking about something. You're just copying me. You're just copying me. Fine. Copy me if you want, but please don't speak. You're the one who spoke first. You lose. Do you have anything for me? I mean, I don't have any money, but maybe stuff has changed. Okay. Alright, we gotta go make ourselves a lockpick and get into Caesar's secret stash. Let's go! Maybe we can actually do this. Okay. Let's craft a lockpick. Cool. I think I heard the click of the lock opening. can't think of anyone to write to at the moment. Maybe another time. Okay. Let's go put some stuff away. Pretty sure my pockets are pretty fucking... Okay. The cupboard can only store two items of violation. So is, is that a violation? There's no way. That thing's violation is too high. But... If I keep that on me. Um, put in hi. Okay, good. So maybe I need those. No way, that's a relationship. Okay. Uh, hide. Okay. Yeah, so. I'm gonna go to. Can you go through the door, please? Thank you. Let's do it. We have a little over an hour. Hmm. the tape here. Put it away, is that what you mean? Oh, I think I know. I think I that was a. Am I just wrong? Do I not know what I'm doing? I mean, that's obvious that I don't know what I'm doing. It is a lock pick. Dang it. Okay. All right. Now let's go. I really hope this is the end of this demo. 
<laughs> no, because like I'm slowly figuring things out. It's just the fact that I have to make friends with people. Or at least, you know, talk to people. Ugh, it's gonna take forever. Can I make friends with you? Relax, take your time. Okay, fine. Can I not go to zero? No! Okay. Ah! Okay. Nope, can't open it like this. Please. Please get above a 10. Please. Oh, you can't do this to me. Damn it, recovery. Uh, most, caught, most actions in prison. Okay, so I just have to go rest for a while? Is that what you're telling me? is super weak. Can I sit here? Um, oof. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Okay, is it this one? Yes. Be above a 10, please be above a 10, please be above a 10. Oh, why are you, why do you hate me? Ugh, dang it, I have to make more of these goddamn things. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So what I need is to make more money, but that can't happen until tomorrow. Alright, I guess I'm just gonna go to bed uh, in real life as well, because we are way past time, and... Um, as intriguing as this is, I'm not here for the long haul, you know? Like, I just want demos to be short. Like, the first demo we played tonight was, like, 20 minutes. <laughs> so why is this demo so long? And, like, the Wild Mender was super long, too. Like, what is going on? Why are these demos so long? I mean, I really do appreciate it because, like, I can at least get into this. Like really really get into this like yeah okay am i gonna have a nightmare mm -hmm. all right uh i think that's it for oh well at least i got some stamina back um I guess it's time to get up. Yep. You've got pain. That's... Yeah. Maybe I should go talk to the lady, but you know what? Right now... Uh, right now, I'm just gonna... Pretend. <laughs> Alright. So these three are important somehow? Like Jimmy? This cat? And I don't know what you are. You look like just a regular dog. Maybe you're the copy bird? No, you're not the copy bird. Anyway. Uh, so yeah, that was Back to the Dawn. Um, or Zookeeper or whatever the... Zoo Breaker uh, apparently was the original name. <laughs> it's so weird. Um, I actually did enjoy that. I like the mechanic of it. Um, I think that's really... It's really interesting. Um, like the characters that are in here that you actually do have to talk to um i question some choices like very heavily question some choices um but my brain is dying and i desperately need to go to bed so uh thank you all for joining me and i will see y'all next time Bye bye Thank you for joining me as I played Back to the Dawn by Metalhead Games. This demo is free to play on Steam. If you would like to play it for yourself, check out the link in the description below. The full game is due to be released in 2023. If you enjoyed what you saw, please leave a like, a follow, and ring that notification bell so you know when a new episode drops. 
Also, don't forget to check out the completely free Discord server to chat about games and whatever else is on your mind. We've also started weekly watch parties on Saturday evenings, so uh, if you like watching random stuff with random people, come check us out. Let's keep the comments chill, so no hate or spoilers, as I'm not above removing those comments and the people who make them. That's all for now, folks, and I'll see you next time.